John, a couple quick uh, news points today. You mentioned the, uh, the, the Apple iPhone 5. Uh, uh, Red Hat, who we had on yesterday, bought Gluster, uh, an open source, basically software-based file system, NAS file system, so that gives Red Hat storage. Yeah. So interesting to see uh, Red Hat competing directly in the storage side. And then, uh, uh, of course, John Fowler was up there this morning. He's the head of the, the hardware business at Oracle, talking about Sun's uh, cloud management stack. Uh, Dell announced an integration with that from Force 10. We're going to have Force 10 on later on today and ask him what that's all about. Yeah, and again, the news, the top of the hour here is news as worth noting about Gluster, a company that we've covered inside the Cube, was purchased by Red Hat, who was also on yesterday talking about platform as a service for $135 million. So here we have a private company in Gluster um, been taken out by Red Hat to strengthen their unstructured uh, portfolio and products, and that's a good move for Red Hat, mainly because the rage of the show here is not so much cloud, it's about big data. And so the theme here at Oracle, really, Dave, is all about big data. You know, last year Oracle was pumping up cloud. This year it's about big data, and we're seeing that. We're seeing acquisitions now happening, and the big acquisition, again, Gluster being bought by Red Hat for $135 million. Um, VC back company taken out uh, to add to the uh, Red Hat portfolio, of, of which we know Red Hat, um, real dominant in the Linux market, but also has platform as a service with OpenShift and a bunch of other things like JBoss, et cetera. So the open source movement continues to be a big force, even amidst the Oracle proprietary stack, and that's again the theme uh, here at Oracle Open World is big data and open source with Java 1 going on. And, and Java 1 really isn't getting the headlines that, that, that um, Oracle's getting, but from what we can found out on the floor yesterday and last night, Java 1 has been a huge success. Talking to top engineers over there, great networking, people are recruiting engineers, a lot of talent being acquired, um, great stuff going on in the open source community, Dave. I think that's a highlight that really isn't getting the mainstream press attention, is that the open source movement is absolutely exploding and Red Hat again buying Gluster is the news yesterday, and uh, Jason from Red Hat yesterday pointing out that open source is a good model, it is moving fast enough to meet the demand for these cloud solutions. Yeah, Jason Anderson was an excellent guest, I tweeted out this morning, he was I thought one of our best guests yesterday, came over from a you know, perspective from Java One, great application development views, and um, here's an example with the Gluster acquisition of Red Hat building out its stack, um, really competing uh, for more of the storage pie. 135 million, not a ton of dough, uh, but for a company that really is just getting started and just yeah. getting off the ground, I mean, it's and, pretty good. Yeah, and the uh, other news uh, yesterday, uh, Fusion IO, a company that we cover, um, and then more CUBE alumni, we're going to talk to the CEO inside the CUBE here at Oracle Open World, David Flynn, announced their second generation of IO memory. Fusion IO, obviously, in the flash SSD storage, a key component of the overall cloud performance equation. Larry Ellison clearly talking about performance in his, in his keynote, Dave, and Fusion IO is one of those companies that's at the center of the performance revolution by bringing solid state uh, drives down to a performance level never seen before. They're announcing, uh, yesterday they announced their second generation of their IO memory architecture. So again, Fusion IO continues to pump on all cylinders. Fusion IO went public, great success story, um, and just continues to lead the marketplace 